Welcome back, Warriors Enthusiasts! Today is day 6 of Tiger Hearts Week. The scene that my sister Rachel's gonna be drawing today is... Spoiler alert for Tiger Hearts Shadow... Of... Tiger Hearts Death. I'll read this scene to you now. It's on pages 385 through 390 of Tiger Hearts Shadow. Tiger Heart! Devwing's Mew was taut. He looked at her. She was still watching the kids. Had she spotted the hunting patrol? What is it? He followed her gaze as she raised her eyes to the canopy. A dark shadow flitted between its branches. Tigerheart's pelt spiked with alarm. Owl! It was gliding silently above the kits. His heart lurched as he saw it swoop. With a gasp, he leapt to the camp wall and pelted towards Pounce Kit. Hide! Like kitten Pounce Kit scattered into the bracken. Sun Kit stared at him, her eyes wide and Hollow Kit seemed rooted to the spot. Tiger Heart looked up as he felt wind from the owl's wings. The owl was so huge that it blocked out the sky. Held bushing, he saw its talons reach for Hollow Kit. He lunged forward and pushed the kit clear, and then reared to beat away the owl. Gray fur flashed at the corner of his eye. Devwing leaped for the owl, her claws outstretched. Rah! With a screech, she tore at the wing as it began to lift. Tiger Heart glimpsed its beady eye as it flapped its giant wing, knocking Devwing away. Tiger Heart slashed at its chest, blinded by a flurry of feathers. Then pain pierced his flanks. Talons clutched him as hard as stone. Shock pulsed in his chest as he felt himself lifted. The owl had caught him. He thrashed helplessly in its grip as the earth fell away from his paws. Wind rushed up around him as the owl rose among the trees and guided between the branches. A moment later, the trees were below him. Tigerheart struggled for breath as the air rushed around him. Dizzy with terror, he stared at the ground disappearing into shadow. Tuffwing and Berryheart were screeching. Their cries echoed far below. The kids mewled in terror. Panic shrilled beneath his pelt. Numb with fear, Tigerheart twisted between the owl's talons and swung his paws around. Claws stretched out, he sliced at the owl's belly. <coughs> the owl screeched in pain and loosened its grip. Tigerheart felt himself slipping from its talons. His heart leapt into his throat. Wind battered his pelt as he fell, his thoughts reeling. He flailed, grasping at nothing. Then, branches whipped his face and battered his flanks as he dropped through the canopy. He saw the tree trunks blur around him, and then he hit the ground. The thump of earth against his chest knocked the breath from him. And then everything went dark. Blazing pain dragged Tigerheart into consciousness. Agony seared in his chest and seemed to reach through his body to the tip of each hair on his pelt. He wanted to hide and sleep, but pain forced him awake. Reluctantly, he opened his eyes. He was lying on his side, paws stretched out in front of him. Around him, the night had swallowed the forest. Tiger Heart! Relief throbbed in Devwing's mew. He felt her muzzle sink into his neck fur. He groaned at the weight of it. She jerked away. Can you move? Fighting pain, Tiger Heart rolled onto his paws and forced himself up. The world spun as he fought for breath. Stones seemed to grip at his chest, while rats gnawed inside his belly. He collapsed. Are his legs broken? Rippletail thrust his muzzle close. He sounded scared. Well, let me see. Cinnamon ducked closer and began to run her trembling paws over his pelt. Their voices sounded distant. Through the fog of pain, Tigerheart became aware of cats around him. Cloverfoot, Rippletail, and Sparrowtail clustered beside Ant and Blaze. Hollow Kit, Sun Kit, and Spire Kit hid behind Berryheart. The Queen stared at Tigerheart, rigid with shock. Light Kit, Pounce Kit, and Shadow Kit stood behind Dovewing, fear glittering in their eyes. Cinnamon sat back on her haunches. I, I can't feel any broken bones. She lowered her voice so the tiger heart had to strain to hear. But, uh, they're swelling in his belly. What does that mean? Dovewing whispered in panic. Uh, something's broken inside. Cinnamon's gaze darkened. Can you do anything? Dovewing was trembling. I, I, can, I can give him time for shock. Cinnamon murmured. Tuffwing stared at her. Didn't you learn anything else when you were with the Guardian Cats? Uh, Cinnamon stared back helplessly. Tuffwing's eyes flashed with frustration. She turned to Blaze. 
What about you? You worked with the spire site? Did he teach you anything? Uh, Louise blinked at her nervously. Uh, we, we never had to treat injuries like this. Cleverfoot caught Tigerheart's eye. He's probably just badly shaken. We should let him rest. He heard the lie in her mew. Going to die. He tried to focus on Devowing, fear flickering beyond the pain. Don't let the kids see. Devowing's eyes missed it with grief. Someone has to help him. She looked at the stars. This can't be happening. Tigerheart struggled to speak. Uh, so little breath. I'm sorry. For a moment, grief clouded the pain that scorched from his belly to his chest. He was breaking Dovewing's heart. And the kids. They watched, their eyes round with fear. He tried to meet their gaze. You saved Hollow Kid. Very Heart's breath bathed his muzzle. She was leaning close. How can I ever thank you? For a moment, the memory flashed in Tigerheart's mind. Hollow Kid had weighed so little when he pushed him clear of the owl's talons. Terror flooded him as he remembered the claws curling around his flanks and the ground falling away. He closed his eyes, trying to block out the thoughts, wishing he could block out the pain, seeking the refuge of sleep. No! No! Pa shook him. Dubbing was glaring into his eyes. You mustn't sleep. Determination hardened her gaze. Grief was gone. Her green eyes were clear with purpose. We're going to get you to a medicine cat. How? Ripple Tail gasped in shock. Devwing ignored the tabby Tom. She was glaring at Shadow Kid. How far is it to the lake? I... I don't know. Shadow Kid flinched from her. Uh, there's a two lake place, and water, and the moor. Tigerheart said it's no more than a two days walk. Cloverfoot reminded her. Devwing was still glaring at Shadow Kid. Is that what it looked like in your dream? She snapped. Hounds get darted to her brother's side. Don't scare him! She stared defiantly at her mother. He'll help if he can! Duffling shifted her paws, taking a deep, slow breath. You're right. I'm sorry, Shadow Kid. Tiger Heart could feel that she was forcing herself to be calm. She blurred in front of him. The frozen forest seemed to whisper around him. He could smell the frost and imagine it creeping across the grass towards him. He pictured it, stilling over his body and drawing the last drop of warmth from his pelt. Tiredness pulled him deeper into the earth. Stay awake, Tigerheart. Devwing's muzzle was beside him. Her voice was soft. We're going to save you. I... I can't lose you. Not after all we've been through. There's so much left for us to do together. Our future is beside the lake. We've always known that. I won't let that future be snatched away from us now. Her gaze fixed on his. Do you want to live? Yes. He shuddered as he breathed. And you have to get to your paws. She straightened and swished her tail. We have to leave now. We're going to the lake. He can't walk that far. Sparrowtail's eyes widened. Cloverfoot stepped forward. He can if we help him. It's his only chance. Ah! What? A two-day walk? How are they going to make it to a healer in time? Tigerheart can't die. This is his super edition. He has kids and a family. His clan needs him. Shadow Clan will surely fall without him. Star Clan must have known all these things and actually cared for once, because they are surprisingly willing to bring Tigerheart back from the dead, preemptively using one of his nine lives to bring him back. But more on that tomorrow. I'd love to hear in the comments section down below what you think of Tigerheart's death. Swooped up by an owl. At first, I was like, what? No. Then I looked up owl attacks, and owls are actually pretty ruthless. They snatch up cats all the time. I even saw a picture of an owl grabbing a guy by the hood of his jacket. Scary, right? And Harry Potter had me convinced that owls were nice. Well, let me know what you think about all this down below. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's drawing and theory. Make sure to check out the video on the side of our last speed paint. And click that subscribe button and little bell icon so that you can always be notified when we upload so that you can be part of hashtag early clan. Down below in the description will be links to our eBay and Etsy stores where cool merch items are available for purchase. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon for the next speed paint. Bye bye